so guys what I've done so far just loosened the nut there taken the brake cable off of there taken the little um, little uh, cable cap off and I've just undone the uh, the nut that obviously goes through there so I've taken that off I'm now just loosening the uh, bolt that holds the caliper in and then we'll get that one off and there's the old back brake caliper there's the new 105 back brake caliper what's going on and there's the washer and the little bolt that we're going to attach it to the frame with. Right, so that's the new 105 back brake caliper on. Obviously I've got to feed the uh, cable through there and attach it, but we should just do that. So I've taken the old threaded part of the brake caliper off with the nut as well. And I'm just threading this new the new bit through there. If you can see that there, there you go. The new cable, or the new cable, I don't mean the new cable, the new um, barrel adjuster for the new back brake caliper is now all the way in, so that's all screwed in nicely. That's the remainder of the um, brake cable, so I've just got to feed that through the nut there and then tighten it up and adjust the um, and just the brakes. Okay guys, there's the back 105 brake caliper on and finally fitted. Looking really cool. Ignore the wheel, that's just my turbo trainer wheel. But um, that looks so cool, don't you think? I'm quite pleased with the job I've done on that back one. I'm quite surprised that I've actually managed okay, to do it. I've taken the front brake caliper off. As you can see there, there is the front brake cable just hanging loose. So uh, I'm just going to fit the brand new 105 the front brake caliper now. So there's a new front brake caliper. Just put the washer on there. Slide that through. The front one, there you go, looks really cool. I'm really pleased with that. And actually quite chuffed with myself that I managed to accomplish it. <laughs> so that's all good. Looking nice. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm really pleased with the way that uh, job turned out. Those 105 calipers look awesome. And I'm really pleased that I managed to do it. So thank you for watching this very amateurish cycling mechanic accomplish something. They look so good and um, the stopping power of the brakes, although I've not tested it, have just 
by literally squeezing the triggers looks and feels and I have to say a massive thank you to Stevie Wonkster for your advice mate much appreciated whilst I was in the middle of that job um, so thank you very much. Hey good morning friends welcome back to the vlog it's Sunday morning I hope you're all good um, hope you're having a good weekend whatever you may be up to I was meant to be out riding this morning with Tony and Ian and possibly Richard as well from the FCC. Good morning, Richard, and good morning, Tony and Ian. Um, but last night I was feeling absolutely rubbish, absolutely shattered, so um, I cancelled, unfortunately. Um, and the weather today, we've still got a tiny bit of snow left. It's just started to rain, so it's gradually warming up and the snow is uh, getting the hell out of here, which is a bonus. Um, so yeah, I'm at home today, just had a relaxing morning really, watching Match of the Day, having some porridge and a cup of tea, hashtag tea for Frosty obviously. I was just going to show you quickly, the um, I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday, the finished brake calipers, the Shimano 105 brake calipers that I fitted yesterday afternoon. So let's just take a quick look at those. So there's the front one looking all good. They look so nice, I have to say. They really do complement my Defy beautifully. So that's the front one there. And there's the back one, all fitted beautifully. Look how good those look, guys. I'm really pleased with them. They are looking so Dude, that is all good. I'm really chuffed with those. And um, just also quickly to say, my old brake calipers, uh, Les Winters, I know you asked for those. So they are wrapped up, buddy. And I will be sending those out to you this week. I've also included some of the, the existing bolts that came with the um, brake calipers that came off my bike and some new ones as well so they're in a box for you les and graham minchel i know i said i had a lazine co2 pump it's actually a lifeline pump but i've used it once it's practically brand new it's a co2 hybrid pump so you can use the gas canisters or you can pump it up manually but that's literally the size of it and as I say I've used it once and I couldn't get on with it so it's all yours mate so that's coming your way as well so there's that pump and three Great gas I'll get canisters. those bits shipped off to you this week as well they will be coming in a wiggle box obviously I don't work for wiggle but um, these are the boxes that my brake calipers came in so I'm recycling them anyway you legends thank you so much for watching have a lovely weekend no bike action for me unfortunately i'm taking it easy today i'm going to um look at a car with my son he's looking to get another car um so i'm gonna do that this afternoon and then watch chelsea man city hopefully this afternoon so all good anyway have a cracking weekend look after yourselves and stay safe out there you legends and i will see you tomorrow night not from the shed of wonder because i'm traveling with work so I will see you tomorrow night from an apartment somewhere for the Frosty Cycling Crew Strava Group Review. And I will also be picking the winner of the Rafa Cap competition, the five rides or more in a week. Uh, so we'll be doing that tomorrow night as well. So I'll see you Monday night. Take care. Bye for now.